Good afternoon friends and welcome back to the homestead. So today we are going to be taking care of some things in the barn. We have to go treat Miss Fiona. She still has that hoof rot and we're going to go ahead and do some trimming and then I'm going to try my best to get Mr. Sniffles and trim his hooves as well. He's a lot bigger than her. So let's go ahead and grab my gear because I put together a little tote to take to the barn with me whenever I need to do any treatments. I'll show you what I got in there and let's head to the barn. All right friends so real quick before we get started on our trimming of the hooves and treating the hooves. Yesterday I noticed when I was collecting eggs that one of my broody mamas, her eggs started chirping. So I'm very hopeful that we've got a baby bird, a baby chick. So let's go ahead and check this mama real quick and see if this baby has hatched. All right, so this is one of the three eggs and the date I put on here was the 15th is when I put them underneath her. I don't see any pitting yet. All right, so nothing yet, so we'll check back tonight and see if maybe we ha see some pitting there. I didn't hear any chirping today. Fingers crossed they're still doing okay. All right, friends, so we're down here in the barn, and let me show you my little kit that I got here. I've got all kinds of goodies that I need just in case anything happens. I've got some alcohol. I've got peroxide. I've got my hoof treatment. Desitin, Betadine, gloves, and some sponges. And just in case I cut too deep, I've got some stop bleed, just in case. I've got a thermometer, some hand sanitizer, and then different things that I may need periodically throughout as having animals. Of course, I've got my hoof trimmers. These ones are what I have seen most people using, so I went ahead and got these. I got these from Tractor Supply. Fairly inexpensive. They say they last really, really long, and they're sharp, so these will be exactly what I need for trimming these hooves. I picked up some sheep dredge. This is for worming. If I do see that I need to do it, I have it already so that I don't have to go running into town because I am 30 minutes from town, so it's an hour round trip. If I need it, I've got it on hand. And I went ahead and picked up one of these just in case if I need to give any kind of medications, I can do it with this. All right, there's my kit. I also picked up this kit from uh, Tractor Supply, this little box that I can put everything in. So let's get to trimming some hooves. And a really nice thing about it is it just hangs on your fence. So you can just put it on something and it's there when you need it. It's not on the floor where it's gonna get trampled. It's up high and away from all the animals. All right, Fiona, you ready? Let's head in. All right, so I just finished with Fiona and that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was too scared to really get in there and cut for fear that I was gonna cut too deep. Um, I, her infection is worse than I thought it was. I actually pulled back some of the top or the bottom of her hoof. It was able to peel back and you can see inside of there. So I went ahead and put the 
solution, the hoof rot solution, deep inside there, and I covered it back up. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut that off. So I'm actually going to give my neighbor a call and see if he's available either today or tomorrow to come down and help me out, take a look at her hoof and see what he says and if that should be cut. And then I'm going to have him help me with Sniffles. Sniffles is a lot bigger and she was hard to catch so I know he's going to be even harder to catch and his hooves are looking really bad. They definitely need to be cut. Which is weird because of all my research has showed that they only trim hooves twice a year. And we've already trimmed his hooves once. I think it's too soon to have to cut them again, but hey, if they look bad, then obviously they need to be trimmed. So let me go ahead and call my neighbor and see what he is doing today or tomorrow. First, I'm gonna go ahead and give this girl a treat because she was good and very patient with me. So let me go ahead and get her a treat and I'll feed Sniffles at the same time. From this angle, you can see how overgrown his hooves are. And that back one is pretty, pretty bad. So these definitely need to be trimmed up. Ah, sir, we'll trim your hooves. All right, so Henry's pin is now clean. He's got fresh water. I'm good in here. So let's go ahead and tend to the other ones. All right, friends, so I sent a message to my neighbor. I haven't heard back yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait on doing sniffles until I get a hold of him. But right now we got to go ahead and water those meat birds because they were completely out of water. So let's take these back, give them their water, and then we have something else we need to do here inside the barn. All right, got these waters to these little meatballs and they are very happy. They were definitely thirsty. It has been very hot the last few days. We forgot to move that this morning when we let them out. So I went ahead and moved it now. So that way tonight they'll be sleeping on some fresh grass. Here is time to go ahead and feed Mr. Henry. He has quite the appetite, as you can see here. He eats twice a day, morning and evening. He gets a bottle, and he also gets some free pellets that he uh, has throughout the day. He has free range of eating that whenever he wants it. But he is definitely a happy little guy. Very playful, very friendly. All right, Henry is fed. Now let's head on into the chicken barn and get that cleaned up because I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, friends, so we're here inside the chicken coop and my mama hatched out one of her babies. So I need to go ahead and move her from this nesting area and put her into one of the cages that we have because it won't be too long before she jumps out and the baby jumps out after her and this is a big drop. I don't want to hurt the baby and I don't want my dogs coming in and accidentally grabbing her just because they're dogs. I can't really blame them. So we need to clean out the brooder that we have over here so that I can move mama and baby over there.
right, they are happy in there. I just need to go get them a water bowl and a food bowl. Put that in there and they will be set. All right, I just added some water and some feed to them. Mama is already sitting on the baby, so we are good. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and maybe in about a week or so, we'll open this up and let her out to rove around out here. That's another one that was hatched about two weeks ago. I'm gonna have to move her out pretty soon as well. I've collected all my eggs for tonight. Now it's time to put the pups to bed and call it a night. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.